Hey everyone, well, I finally got probably the largest, I don't know, maybe not largest, most extensive, expensive build that I've ever done. It was cost more than any of the spears, more than the, the conibo, more time than anything. Uh, I'll explain how much time I spent on some of this stuff. Uh, out of any project I've ever done, I'm extremely proud of it, because as far as I know, I'm probably the only person in the Western Hemisphere to, to have one. I've only seen one other one, and that was in a book, and I don't even know if it was real. I don't know if it was just a training version. So this, this might be one of the only real ones that you're probably ever going to see. Um, I got the template and the design from it from a friend and after speaking with him he said you know if you do make it you know just let me make sure that it's okay for me to be showing this uh, on YouTube because it is something that is kind of regarded as a secret and after I made it I sent him a s small video on it showing it to him and he said yeah he said you know make it public so I'm gonna make a new video this other one was really short and didn't explain a whole lot so that saying that I'll show you a little part little part of it I say here's the weight it's one solid piece of steel Weighs about four pounds, three pounds, 14 ounces to be exact. A solid welded chain. A chain can hold a couple hundred pounds. I use this chain on just about everything that I do just because it's a good size. It doesn't tangle up very easily and it's really strong. So, got a nice length of chain, <clears throat> and here it is, and it's a, it's a little heavy. Well, we'll start off, I guess, with the handle, and then I'll show you what the rest of it looks like. This is a solid oak handle. It's made out of two pieces. If I zoom in real close, get real close, you can see the split line right there where I kind of jacked it up a little bit, but you can barely see it. But it was two pieces of wood. Uh, after clamping it all together, I had it cut down to an octagon. It's uh, two inches around. There's the attachment. Now this piece right here this, do, this goes all the way up to about right here inside this handle and it is carved out inside there so it fits nice and snug half and half on both sides then when I glued this together this locked itself in place plus I don't know if you can see it there we go double pinned so this thing that's not going anywhere the only mistake I had on this whole piece is right there. As I was drilling holes through this, which I don't know if you can see them, and there's one right there. Right there is a wooden dowel that I have two of those and I drilled them through so when I was taking these two pieces on and off each other I knew that they were going to go back in the exact same place because of these dowels and when I first started drilling it I don't know if my drill bit was dull but it just started burning up and it slipped so that's my only defect in this whole thing which I'm a little upset about but all in all not bad go up you got a nice solid steel uh, Suba I think this is maybe like three inches. 
nice uh, leather wrapped handle leading up to the blade. So this is something I'm really proud of. If anyone has the book that I'm talking about, you know it's a, there's one picture of it and that's it. But it's uh, 3 16 thick. And I was real proud of the the heat treatment I did on this because that blade stayed straight. I was really worried about heat treating a blade this size. I've never never done anything like that. But you got a nice hook on the back end. You got a nice kind of a short spear point on the top. It's all ground in. And then the blade, you can see, I get it in the light. There you go. You can see the two different grind marks. So it's actually ground here. And then it's ground up top. Alright, you can see that grind mark right there. Oh, uh, this is not sharp from the specifications I was given. It wasn't supposed to be sharp, so this is like axe sharp. I mean if you chopped at something you're gonna bite into it, but it's not it's not like a razor. So But yeah, um this is all a solid piece of O1 tool steel. And this blade does go all the way down. Set it on the ground so I can get a better shot. But this blade does go all the way down, down to about here. So I had to carve all this out to fit the tang. So you can imagine how big of a piece of steel this is. It's along the lines of about 18 inches. So it was a huge piece of tool steel. Cost me way over $100 just for the piece of steel. And it, I was a little upset about it because of all that extra steel in here that I wasn't even going to be using, but I can use that for other projects. So, um, handles probably around, I think from like here down is maybe somewhere around two feet. Uh, the length of chain, um, I wasn't given any specific links on that besides two arm lengths. So, that's pretty much two arm lengths of me, so. Um, I can't really give any specific dimensions on the blade, as in how wide, how long, but I will say it is very nice. So you might get a better view of how how this looks. I'm somewhere around five ten, five eleven on a day. So you can see how big this is. No, it's a good sized weapon. I mean, this will definitely do some damage. Uh, I would say it probably weighs maybe about five, six pounds. Well, so that's a whole lot of steel on here. You know, combining with the blade and all the fittings. And then a nice length of chain. Man, this weight is insane. So, this took me forever to do. I think I spent probably a little over two months on this. Just working on it here and there. I'm not trying to rush it. Uh, just the blade itself. more of a close-up view of this just the blade itself just cutting it out finishing up all the edges and then grinding all the 
you know, all the flats and the edge lines and the all this crap. I mean, this is just everywhere. I think there's one, two, three, four, five. There's ten different edges I had to grind on this. Uh, just just the grinding alone took me a little over six hours, and then all the all the fitting with, you know, make getting all this right, you know, fitting it inside the handle, uh, shaping it. It it took a long time. Just the blade itself, I would probably say, probably took around twenty hours of just fine finishing. You know, making sure all these grind grind marks were all all nice and even on both sides. It took a lot of patience. But yeah, that's that's my big my big project. Um, from what I can remember off the top of my head, it's called an Ogama. I think it was more used in the Bujinkan. So, but yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Definitely one of the larger projects I've ever done, I've ever made, and just like everything else I I make, this is not, you know, a display item. You know, I use hardened tool steel. The handle is pinned like five times, once up top, once down here, and then three times in the center. Uh, it's all nice, good grain, oak, solid welded chain. You know, nothing's loose, nothing's a gimmick. You know, it's a 3 16 inch thick piece of uh, steel, so it's not like I'm using sheet, uh, sheet metal. So this is the real deal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it took me forever to make. If you have any questions or anything, I'll try and answer them the best I can. I wasn't given a whole lot of information about this because it is something that's not very well known. So I'll try and answer it the best I best I can. I think it was more used for uh, battlefield confrontation. You know, I doubt you're going to be sneaking into a, a castle carrying this thing. I'd much rather take a, a smaller Kusarigama or something else. But this is definitely a a beast. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Get a final view of the overall piece. So that's pretty much it. Um, probably going to be a while before I do another video. Uh, just because of I am get, getting married in about a month. So I'm extremely busy doing all that fun stuff. And then I got the honeymoon and all that in early October, so probably around Halloween is when you'll when you'll hear from me again and I plan on doing something pretty special for this Halloween. So I hope everyone liked this. Definitely probably my top three favorite builds of all time. So, like I said, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, hopefully I'll have a video up around Halloween, late October.